Here is another video some of you will find very helpful and uh, I found this information in one of the building code books. Now they actually in the building code books they do have a lot of lumber reference charts um, so you can always if you're looking for information about uh, ceiling joist sizes, floor joist sizes, something like that you can usually find it in there and even the manufacturers of some of the uh, trust joists and stuff like that they actually have stuff too but you know you can't always use it and I can't stress that enough this right here is information that is general information but it might not work for your particular project and of course you might need an engineer now with that said I will let's go over the first one here you know, wall framing studs and the spacing is usually going to make a difference. So here we're looking at 16 inches on center spacing, stud spacing, 16 inch on center spacing. The maximum length for a two by four wall framing stud with 16 inches on center will be a 10 foot wall, 10 foot or less um, in height. Now, if you use two by six, you can go 18 feet. Now this is for a wall that is supporting a roof, one roof, not 10 roofs, supporting one roof. So this is standard construction for a single story home. Standard wall framing construction for a two story house or wall framing studs supporting one floor and one roof like we have here for 16 inch on center spacing is going to be two by four you can use two by four same thing as the um, previous example this is exactly the same thing two by six for an 18 foot wall two by four for a 10 foot wall or less now the reason why i didn't say you can use um, two by six for a wall with a wall height less than 18 feet and more than 10 feet is because you can always use two by six for a eight foot wall or a six foot wall so i didn't bother putting it in so these are just less than um, not more than uh, numbers here now i also wanted to point out that this particular reference chart from the um, building code book and i will put a reference number to it in the video description box and um I don't want to put it in the video in case they change the number. I'll be able to go in and change it later. So that's the reason why you're not going to see it in the video. So if you do have two by fours and you're going to space them eight inches on center, you can go up to 12 feet. So remember it was 10 foot or less with 16 inch on center spacing for a two story house. And if you go eight inches on center, you can actually go 12 feet. And if you go eight inches on center with two by six, you can go up to 24 feet. Now, I wouldn't get too uh, carried away with this number here. 24 feet might be a reference number. But uh, when you start going 24 feet up in the air um, for a two-story house, and you're going to have it 48 feet off the ground, I would definitely get a structural engineer involved in that process. If you have a three-story building or a wall that is going to be supporting two floors and one roof, then um, two by six, 16 inches on center, 14 foot is going to be the maximum height for the wall. And I just wanted to point out that these videos that I make, you know, I try to provide you with information that I've actually seen before. I've never seen a 14 foot wall supporting a um, two floors and a roof like for a three-story building usually it's going to be a eight or a ten foot wall and almost all the time on the bottom um, you see two by six that's almost a, a give me it's going to be a standard two by six 16 inches on center and of course the next two floors the walls that, that is going to be supporting the next floor and the roof and then of course the wall that's just going to be supporting the roof is usually going to be two by four 16 inches on center so that's it for the video remember this is just a general reference guide um, i don't see any problem with this because i've seen it plenty of times but uh, again like i said i can't stress this enough if you're not comfortable 
Um, make sure that you check with your local building department or engineers to verify the stud sizes, especially if you're building a, a three-story building. That would be almost to give me a single story house, two by four, 16 inches on center, eight foot to 10 foot walls. I've seen that plenty of times. And again, I can't give you the okay. I can't give you a green light. But if you're designing something, you're designing a project and this information um, will definitely be helpful. You're going to put the information when you spec out everything uh, in your building. You go to before you submit your plans to the building department. You say, hey, I'm going to use two by six. I'm going to use two by four, 16 inches on center. If they approve it, then you are good to go.